They're the names we will never forget, lives taken too soon. Ashlyn Mike murdered May 2nd, 2016. Carla Naomi Estrada murdered March 1st, 2015. Tonight, a community gathered to remember victims of homicide and to support those who've endured such a loss. Christine Pay is here to tell us about the emotional gathering at Civic Plaza. Yes, we are approaching the holiday season when we pause to spend time with those we love. But what about the families and friends who have lost a loved one through homicide? It is a difficult time. The community gathered tonight to help them cope with their loss and let them know they are not alone. More than 60 names were read at the homicide survivors vigil downtown. Names of victims of all ages some of them very young children. It was an emotional gathering that was not without tears and pain. We spoke to a mother whose son, Nicholas Aragon, died after being shot at Kid Carson Peak in 2014. And what upsets her is the sentence given to those shooting suspects. Painful, very, very painful. My son was worth more than what the time they gave him. I believe they should have had a lot more because we suffer a life sentence they should have as well. Tonight's memorial hopes to put some awareness on the grim impact of homicides in communities foremost on how to prevent violent crime and what prosecutors can do to bring justice to these families. The record number of homicides in Albuquerque is 70 and the city is on track to break that record this year. Survivors of Homicide Victims Awareness Month continues through December 20th. Christine Pei, KOAT Action 7 News.